Well, good morning, Mike. Um, today's one of those legendary climbs in cycling. What do you know about the Puy de Dome? Uh, not, not too much, but uh, just been asked quite a bit about it from an environmental standpoint. Uh, people asking me whether we, I feel like it's okay that we're going up it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that we're going up it. I think it's really cool that we're going to show off one of the most beautiful parts of France. And uh, uh, I think it's going to be a special finish, and it's a climb that suits me quite well. Matteo here, right beside you, uh, rode it earlier uh, earlier on a couple of months ago. How important is it to preview these climbs, or is it all on Velo Viewer now and all in the team meetings? Well, Velo Viewer's been causing me some troubles recently, just uh, with all the all the people on 5G network here. Uh, my internet's crap. I'm not able to see it, so I'm wishing I actually was able to go and recon it. I didn't recon it. Uh, I do like a good recon. I think it makes a big difference in terms of seeing seeing the course, understanding it a bit, a bit better, understanding climbs. Uh, um, yeah, when I think it's a, it's a bit of an advantage, but uh, uh, also the technology is so good now that we do have a pretty good understanding of where we're going. So uh, uh, envious of those who did it today, but uh, those who reconned it, but uh, I'll, I'll be okay. What do you think is going to happen today? Um, I want to try and get in the breakaway. I think uh, the breakaway is my only shot, uh, but uh, I'm not convinced that it's going to survive. Um, I'm hoping it does, but uh, I'm going to say there's a 60, 65 percent chance that the win comes from the uh, the group of uh, the, the GC contenders. So, how hard is it going to be to get into that escape for you? Yeah, it's going to be quite challenging. I think a lot of guys who are there's quite a few guys that are no longer in the GC, or even if they are, they're they're still well down on the the two top guys. So, uh, uh, I think it's going to be a big fight for the breakaway. Um, really challenging, and this this parkour will make for a challenging uh, breakaway. So. Uh, yeah, hopefully I can infiltrate it. Thanks, Mike. Thanks. Mike, we expect Matthew van der Poel to at least try to get in the breakaway. Should he make it, the presence of someone like him, it does help the chances of the breakaway staying away, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, he's a champion, so he'll drive it for sure. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think uh, not just him. I think there's, like, there's probably 60, 70 guys that want to be in the breakaway today.